Hey! And welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get from this to this. So let's get started. You will need some sort of eyebrow kit, eyeshadow kit, anything that you can get darker brown colors from. So we're going to be using this cocoa brown color and we will also be using this dark brown color. And that is all. <laughs> That's all you'll need. You will also need some sort of angled brush so you can get that precision, that sharp, fleeky brow that is also oh desired. You will also need some sort of eyebrow brush. Um, I know there's a name for it, but <laughs> what do I know? I don't know. <laughs> you will also need Q-tips. Why? You'll see, but she'll need them. Get them. You'll need them. They're needed in this. You'll get them now. Go. Isn't it crazy? Look, baby, baby, look, baby. Look, baby, baby, look, baby. Use me up. Break me down. Spin my heart. Also, don't worry if you are going outside of your brow, that is totally okay because that's where you will see the Q-tips coming in handy later on. Brush your brows one more time while the powder is on them so they're not clumped up in any specific spot and it blends perfectly. Just know my love is true. With slight pressure, glide the Q-tip across the outline of your brow, cleaning up the excess eyeshadow you may have gotten around the brow. Sometimes it gets a little too dark in this general region of my brow, so I like to whip out my Q-tip one more time and gather any excess shadow that is causing it to not look so natural. And you're done. 